Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I'm showcasing the November card kit by Simon Says Stamp. As far as I know, the kit is already sold out, but I'm going to link you down below to all the products individually in case you want to find something. In the kit you will get a bottle of uh, gold stickles as well as uh, this uh, ink pad, a metal flower that is actually a paper clip, you will also get a stamp set which is great for Thanksgiving cards, two envelopes that they are nice and shimmery and you will also get uh, an embossing folder. You will also get 12 6x6 pattern papers, they are all double sided and I really love the color combinations on them. They are really warm and uh, perfect for this time of the year. Now you also get 4 different colors of cardstock and just because I want to create 10 cards I'm going to add one more and I decided to add a chocolate brown one so that I can cut them all in half, score them in half and then create 10 card bases. So here are all the card bases ready to go and let's start with card number 1. For my first card I'm using this beautiful pattern paper and I'm going to cut it out to be slightly smaller than my standard card. So when I put it on top you can see that I have a small border all around. So now I am going to use my craft knife and with my ruler I am going to cut out some of those hexagons so I can create some holes on my pattern paper and uh, they will work as uh, little windows later on. Now you can of course cut out the hexagons without your uh, ruler, just freehand them and you will see that I'm going to show you how to do that. Just make sure that you go very slowly so that you don't uh, have any bad surprises. The craft knife that I am using is by Fiskars and it's uh, really my favorite. I find it very comfortable to use and um, I think that I can control uh, the blade really easy. So here is how my panel looks at the moment. I have three windows and of course you can go ahead and cut out even more if you want to. Of course you can create a shaker card out of this, but you will see that I'm not going for a shaker card uh, for now. I'm going to use my pencil and uh, mark where those uh, windows are going to fall. And then on the inside of those I'm just going to stamp the um, sentiments from the stamp set that comes in the kit. There are some tiny little ones which I am going to use. Now I am going to stamp on the first one the two foreign words for thanks so I'm going for merci and gracias and uh, I'm also going to stamp even more um, tiny little phrases from the stamp set as I go along. Now you will see that some of those are not as tiny as I want to so they don't fit as they are so I'm going to use my scissors and cut them in half so that I can stamp each word separately. I am stamping everything with my Versa marking and then I'm going to apply my white embossing powder. Heat set it, making sure that all the powder is melted and Ginger just wants to say hi. So now I'm also going to use my eraser once um, everything has cooled down and make sure that uh, you cannot see the pencil lines anymore. I am using some foam tip at the back and again this foam tip is by scotch and it's not too bulky however it adds just a little bit of dimension so that you can see that uh, the sentiments look as if they are at the back. Now I am also going to punch out a couple of hearts which I am going to stick with uh, some foam tip on some of those hexagons. And to finish it off I am going to use some clear Wink of Stella glitter pen on my hearts. So now let's move on to the second card. Now for the second card I'm using this wood grain pattern paper and I really love pattern papers with wood grain. I think that uh, they give such warmth and uh, beauty on my cards. So anyway, I am going to work on the white card base. So I'm going to use some tape adhesive at the back and just stick it on top. As you notice, the panel is slightly smaller than the standard card and I really didn't measure anything at the bottom since I am planning to cover it up 
and I am going to create a little scene. So this is actually the, the other half of uh, the good green pattern paper that I have cut out. And I am going to cut it out with my scissors and create a nice ground for my little scene. I'm going to stick it at the bottom of my card. And now from this pattern paper with all those trees, I am going to cut out some of those and create my own little embellishments. So as I am going to cut them out, I'm going to make sure that I leave a white border all around. And if you are not confident with your cutting skills, then make sure that you draw first a pencil line and then follow it with your scissors. I have also cut out a second heel out of the same pattern paper so that I can create some dimension and now I can decide where I want my trees to be. Once I'm happy with the placement I am using my glue pen to stick some of uh, the trees directly on my pattern paper and uh, I am going to use some foam scores from some of uh, the trees that are at the front so this way I can create some dimension on my little scene. I am going to use the sentiment that says so much to be thankful for and I'm going to stamp it with Versa marking and then white emboss it. And this is going to finish the second card for today. For this card I'm using the pattern paper with all those adorable cameras that I have uh, cut out to be exactly the size of a standard card and I'm using some tape adhesive at the back and I'm going to stick it to and cover up the card front of my card. So now I'm working on the red pattern paper and I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says with all my heart. Again I'm using my Versa marking and I am going to white emboss the sentiment. I am using my heat gun to melt everything and then I'm going to try and find a heart die that fits nice this uh, sentiment. So this is a set of uh, hearts that is called Traditional Hearts Layering Basics and it's by Tonic Studios. And I went with the third size. I am making sure that this is nicely secured there. I have run it through my Sizzix machine and now I have a nice sentiment on a heart that matches perfectly the sentiment. Now I am going to stick that directly on top of uh, my card but just to make it a little bit more interesting I decided to do a little bit of faux stitching all around the heart. This is going to add that uh, perfect touch and um, I think it really makes a difference. So as I am doing that, just to let you know that there is a giveaway on my blog, so for a chance to win this November card kit by Simon Says Stamp, make sure to visit my blog and enter your details. You will find a link to my blog post down below in the description area if you are watching on YouTube. So I am using some foam tip at the back and I am going to stick it at the center of my card. And to embellish it even more, I'm going to use my scissors and cut out that tiny little heart from the leftovers of this pattern paper. And then I'm going to stick it directly on top of my card, just to add more interest. To finish it off, I'm going to use some glossy accents on some of those tiny little hearts, not all of them, just to add a little bit of interest on the background. Now for this card I'm going to use the embossing folder, I'm going to place the front of my card base on the inside and then the, run it through my Sizzix machine. Now this is going to make sure that I emboss only the card front and the result is really beautiful. It's a great design, I think it's very versatile and you create uh, the exact same design for pretty much any occasion. I am using the ink pad that was included in the kit and I'm going very smoothly over the raised areas and as you can see the raised areas grab the ink and they create this beautiful finishing touch. I think this is a, a very elegant card that you can uh, use for any occasion and since I am going for a thank you card or for a thanksgiving card on the inside I'm going to stamp one of the sentiments that was in the stamp set 
and that says there is no time more fitting to say thank you. Again, to match the outside with the inside, I'm going to stamp the sentiment with the exact same ink pad. And my Misty is helping me stamp the sentiment again and again, just to make sure that I get a nice impression. What I really love about this ink pad is that it gives a beautiful shimmer on your project. To add a touch of elegance, I have used this ribbon and tied a bow. And now I'm going to use the envelope to create a matching envelope for my card. So I am going to run it through my Sizzix machine and I'm going to emboss only the flap. So my envelope along with the card will have the same design. For this card I'm going to use this beautiful pattern paper, I really love the colors, the designs, everything in it, but just because it's so busy, I don't think that I really need to do a lot on my card. So I am going to use this leftover from the previous card and I am going to emboss the sentiment and for the sentiment I'm going with thanks for everything. I am using this banner die to cut out the sentiment and this die comes from a die set by Simon Says Stamp that has many different sizes of banners. I'm going to link you down below. And uh, my card is pretty much finished, I'm going to use some tape adhesive at the back. And this is why I love to create 10 cards out of my card kit, because I always end up with uh, simple and uh, quick cards. For this card, again I embossed the card front and now I'm working with those scrap papers. These are scrap pattern papers from previous cards and I'm going to stick one on top of the other. I get a border on each side so that I can see a little bit of blue. But you will see that I have uh, decided to chop off most of it so I only have a hair of blue. Probably you cannot see it here but you will see it at the photos at the end. So now I'm using this die that says hello at the very bottom of uh, this uh, strip of paper. And I'm going to pop out all the cutouts. And then again I'm going to use the hello die and cut it out of this orange pattern paper. And now this uh, cutout fits perfectly at the bottom of my strip. Now what I love about using uh, and making the most out of my card kit is that I always stretch my supplies and try to find out ways to use every little bit of scrap. And this uh, card is a great example of that. I'm using my scissors to cut out the excess and now I'm going to apply some glue at the back of Hello and then stick it directly at the bottom of this a strip making sure that it fits perfectly inside the gaps. Now to finish off the card I'm going to use some glossy accents and I'm going over the die cut that says hello and of course you can uh, go ahead and add even more uh, details on your card and I am going to add some uh, clear wink of Stella glitter pen on all of those hearts just because I can and this is going to finish off the card. And now let's make the shaker card for today. I always make uh, one of the 10 cards into a shaker card, so I am creating now the frame. I have used two rectangle dies to create this uh, frame. I have used some tape adhesive at the back. I stick down the acetate and my card base is going to be the um, red cardstock. So first of all I'm going to stamp the sentiment and for the sentiment I'm going with uh, one that I used previously that says there is no time more fitting to say thank you and I'm going to stamp it at the center of my card base by using Versamark ink and then white emboss it. To do so I'm using my Misty just to make sure that uh, I have stamped the sentiment nicely. When you are using big stamps it's always nice to stamp uh, twice and uh, probably you cannot see it but I can see that I haven't pressed uh, correctly at the center of the sentiment. So now I'm happy with the stamping and then I'll go ahead and apply the white embossing powder. So now I'm going to use my foam tape and go all around the back of the frame 
You can double up if you want to. This is going to give uh, even more uh, uh, freedom to the little sequence that you add inside for movement. And this is what I'm going to do actually for this card. I don't always uh, double up, but uh, just because I'm using this uh, sequence and uh, they have uh, big leaves inside, I want to make sure that they move nicely in on, on my window. So now I'm going to peel off the backing from my foam tip and now make sure that I place the frame correctly on top of my card base. And just to finish off the card and add a little bit of uh, interest, I'm going to add a few sequins from uh, this mix at uh, the outside of my card. And to stick them down, I'm using some uh, glue dots. Now for this card, I'm going to use this scrap and a couple of leaves. These are leftovers from this die. This is by Simon's stamp. And uh, I had those two uh, leaves from a previous project. So I am going to stamp the sentiment at the center of this uh, red uh, cardstock. And um, I am going with a tiny one that says, this is a thank you card. And I am going to stamp it vertically instead of horizontally, as uh, you would expect, because this is going to be the stem for the little flower that I'm going to create. So again, I'm stamping with Versa marking. I'm going to apply my embossing powder, heat set it, and my stamp is ready. So now I'm going to punch out a little circle. And this is again from a pattern paper that was included in the kit. I am trying to make sure that where I want to stick this down, I'm using some uh, glue at the back. Again, trying to decide the best placement. And now I can stick the leaves on each side of my stem. To do so, I'm going to use some tape adhesive at the back. And to stick down the flower, I'm going to use some glue dots. The good thing about those glue dots is that uh, they are not as uh, permanent as you think. So the recipient will be able to just uh, grab the paper clip if she wants to. And now I'm going to stick this on top of another panel that I have left over from a previous card. And as you can see, I'm going to use the green card base, which I have again embossed with the embossing powder. I'm using some tape adhesive at the back of my panel, and then I'm going to stick that directly at the center of my card. So now I have only a few leftovers and uh, I'm going to create a card with uh, all the scraps that I have. And um, a great way to use up your scraps is to create banners. So I have used the die set by Simon's stamp with all the different sizes of banners. I have die cut out of my scraps those three different panels. And I'm going to stamp the word thanks on one of them. And then I'm going to stack them one on top of the other. For my card base, I'm using the blue card base and I'm going to cover it up with this beautiful pattern paper with all those hearts and jars. Again, I have cut it out to be slightly smaller than my card base so that you can see a small border all around. I get a lot of questions on uh, how long does it take me to create those 10 cards. So you can probably tell that um, I'm wearing different clothes and uh, I'm also, I also even have a different nail polish. And that's because uh, this uh, video was done in two different uh, evenings. Although it looks smooth and quick, it's not really like that. Anyway, to add uh, a little bit of interest and uh, some detail, I'm using my Signo white gel pen, adding some faux stitching at the top of those banners. And then at the back, I'm going to add some foam tape. And to finish it off, I'm going to create some enamel dots with my uh, Nouveau Drops. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to create a booboo here and how I'm going to just save it with a pin. A very quick and easy design and uh, really a go-to when you want to use up all your scrap papers.
And now I'm working directly on my card base. I'm going to stamp the sentiment with the ink pad that was included in the kit. And I'm going to stamp it at the top right corner of my card. I'm using again my Misty just because this ink pad doesn't get a great impression at first. So I'm going to stamp it two or three times. Now the sentiment that I used says with all my heart. So I have also used the tiny little sentiment that says thank you. So I end up with thank you with all my heart in a beautiful shimmery look. I hope you can see the shine. So I'm going to use this leftover pattern paper and I'm going to fold it on itself so that you can see both the designs on this pattern paper. With my tool I'm going to poke a hole and then I'm going to thread through a brad. The brad that I'm using is by Hero Arts. It's from a very old collection and it has a beautiful gem in green that matches perfectly the cardstock. I'm using my tape runner at the back and I'm going to stick it directly on top of my card base. So as if this uh, pattern paper was folded so that you can see and read the sentiment. I have used my stickles to add some dots around my sentiment and I have also cut out a couple of strips of paper. This is the exact same pattern paper as the one that you see on my card front. And I am going to embellish this uh, a little bit more. So now let's take a quick look on all the 10 cards together that I have created using the Simon Says Stamp November Card Kit. And these were the cards for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel.